This video is for Mercedes diesel owners, more specifically for those owners of 1977 and 1985 models that had the OM616 four-cylinder diesel and the OM617 five-cylinder diesel. Here on the bench, I've got an injection pump and I've got a fuel filter assembly that you see on all those cars. Very common. <laughs> If you've been around these cars, you know that you got to deal with certain issues. You got to change the filter, but often you run into problems with these lines. There's three of these hard lines that go from the filter uh, to the injection pump. They have these weird round uh, fittings and these bolts that go through them. Now, for those of you who don't know what these are called, these are called banjo fittings. And you can see why, <laughs> because it looks like a banjo and this is called a banjo bolt. This allows you, by the way, this is the purpose of a banjo fitting. It allows you to tighten the bolt down and seal the fitting while at the same time being able to adjust its position. Now that's really handy on a lot of applications. A lot of fuel systems use this on not only diesels but other cars as well. So you need to kind of know that this is called the banjo fitting. Now the only problem you run into when these get old and they've been worked on a lot is the sealing rings. There's little aluminum sealing rings that seal the banjo fitting from leaking when you tighten the banjo bolt down. Now what happens when these sealing rings get crushed usually from over tightening or they get old and they start leaking and maybe some of those fittings loosen up and you start sucking air into the system the diesel starts running weird. So over the last couple of years, I've been thinking, you know, it'd be really good to get our customers a kit with all the rings they would need to completely reseal this fuel system here. So that's what I've done. I've got the rings. Let me show you. I'll show you how many rings you need, and I'll even throw a few extras in the kit. So if you have one of these old diesel engines, now you can get all the rings you need to make sure this fuel system is totally sealed and free of any leaks. Between the fuel filter housing here and the injection pump, you actually have five banjo bolts. You have three here on the top of the fuel filter, and then you have two on the injection pump, one on this side, and on the other side of the pump here, you have the check valve. That's part of the return fuel system that goes back up to the top of the fuel filter here. So you're talking about 10 washers that you'll need. Now in my kit here, I provide 14 washers. You get a couple extras of two different sizes because you may run into a situation where you need to use it somewhere else. Or maybe you have two old diesels and you only need to fix three or four of the banjo bolt fittings. But you see, when you put this on, it's very simple. You're going to put one ring on first. And you're going to put the banjo fitting on and then you put another ring on here. So you have to have two rings for each one of these banjo fittings. And when you tighten this down, I just want to warn you, don't over tighten it. I see so many of these that get crushed and that's what causes leaks. Tighten it until it's real snug. Then if it's seeping fuel a little bit, just tighten a little bit more. But don't get your wrench out and just reap it down until you're squishing these aluminum ceiling rings. Now if you pull these off and you find there's scoring on them or they're crushed, then I recommend you replace them. And if you're doing any major service on your fuel system on your old diesel, go ahead and just get this kit of rings. It's not very expensive and just replace all of them. And they'll be good for another 10 years. And if you have any problems with any of these banjo bolts, whether they're damaged or whether you've rounded out the heads, I carry these used on my website. I have some really good used ones. So I'll put links for these bolts as well as for the ceiling rings in the show more description of this video. There's something else I should mention. Keep in mind that this banjo bolt resealing kit does not include the ceiling ring and O-ring for this center bolt that holds the fuel filter to the housing. We provide these in a separate kit and they also come with our fuel fillers when you purchase them at Mercedes Source. You need to be sure to get a new ceiling ring and O-ring anytime you replace this filter right here because they do not come with the filters. Also, I should mention anytime you're working around the fuel system that you inspect these hoses. They're made out of a hard plastic and they tend to break or crack right here where they plug into this serrated fitting 
on the, the banjo head. You'll see small wear areas developing there. You'll see kind of an indentation on either end. And at that point, you should replace these lines. These can break while you're driving down the road. And if they break off right here, you'll be pumping tons of fuel. In some cases, the engine will quit. But if you're breaking the, one of the return lines like this, it could be pumping fuel to, all over the road while you're driving on your merry way. We do carry these lines both used and new on my website. So check these. Every time you're looking around your diesel engine, working on the injection pump or changing the fuel filter, you always inspect the fittings on these plastic fuel lines.